So I spent all day cleaning the apartment and my room and um, I'm trying to find my TV remote. Last time I had it, I uh, flicked the TV to a channel and then I put it down somewhere. That was two weeks ago and I still can't find the remote. I don't know where it is. I've looked behind my bed, I've looked behind my bedside table. I haven't looked behind Noah's side yet because I was like, I was the one who had it, so it shouldn't be over there, but I will check his side. I've checked under the bed. I have no idea where this remote's gone. Totally not awkward. So yeah, bit of a dilemma right now. Um, I have rehearsal at nine o'clock. It's currently 8.01 and the next bus isn't until 8.34. I hope there's not gonna be a lot of people going to New York area um, this late at night and the bus is just gonna run right through and I'll get there by like 9.15 for rehearsal because um, rehearsal starts at nine and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be late. I just, yeah, I just know I'll be late, but all good in the hood. I messaged Yuka. She's aware that I will be running late um, just because of the bus scheduling. I did not realize that this is what happened uh, this time of night, that the bus scheduling would change to be every other stop, which I, again, sorry, not every other, but um, every 30 minutes. So that's what apparently it is every 30 minutes so yeah and that bus not even liar liars liars so that bus could totally be in service but it's not the next one's in half an hour so you know where we're going i don't know why it's so fluffy that really did nothing that's better um you know where we're going we're going to Dunkin Donuts. I'm just walking over to see if I can catch the ferry back to um, New York, but um, I'm walking across some very icy snow and uh, <laughs> it is so crunchy. I've never actually done this before. This is so much fun. Oh, I'm still a big kid at heart. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying this new um, like power breakfast. Sandwich, it smells pretty good. It kind of smells like a McDonald's um, breakfast, like griddle thing. But um, I have to say, it doesn't look too bad. Um, looks pretty decent. All right. It's a flatbread, it's a whole grain, it's turkey, sausage, an omelet, oh, white omelet, and cheese. So apparently it's got 24 grams of protein in it, so okay. I take it back, it kind of looks really bad. Like, it looks a little sad, but taste test. The turkey sausage really overpowers this, that's all I'm tasting, but all in all, it's pretty decent. Might be a go-to. I mean, it's three ninety nine, which is not that bad. Hmm. It's not bad. It'd be like a go-to instead of eating like a bagel or something like that. Like this would definitely be better and healthier. So good on you, Dunkin' Donuts, making healthy food choices better. Um. So the bus didn't come at 8.34. It is now 8.47 and the next bus isn't until 8.54. Yep, tonight is not going well. I am so annoyed. I'm running late to rehearsal. I made it to rehearsal, but um, then I went to put my headphones on and I broke the headphones. Today is not going well. I'm hoping I can glue them and I'm hoping they'll work fine, but yeah, I broke my beads. Four hundred dollars worth. Broken. Today is not my day. Okay, I'm home, and uh, 
Yeah, it's a little worse than I thought, but I think I can fix my headphones. <sighs> Are you ready to see them? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's um completely snapped. And yeah, so I'm going to try and fix it. It's At least it's not like the mechanism, like the, like how like it bends. It's broken. It's like the attachment has just broken off. So hopefully I can just glue it, shove it back in there and just let it dry overnight. I'm going to use um, the trusty E6000. Hopefully it will last. Uh, fingers crossed. I try and do this. I don't want to pull the um like this section away from the headphone too much, but I may have to do that to get the glue in. But it should be fine if I can get the glue out of the um thing. Come on, why is one second oh. hairpin? Oh, that's why I go gooby. Gobbly goop. There we go. Okay, now let's try. Oh, yeah, there we go. I gotta be careful because I can see the um join that sits in here. So, gotta be careful I don't too much glue but i gotta put just enough come on oh why is this glue so hard i need that hairpin it'll come out easier oh yeah there we go it's a gobbly goop i'm gonna give it like a few seconds just to like kind of dry while that's happening, I'm going to put the lid on this because I do not need E6000 all over my bed. But you can already see it's already starting to like dry. So yeah, I'm just going to put the cap back on. <laughs> I should have wiped it off, but oops. Okay. Now I should. Okay. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, okay, so the E6000 has actually leaked through into the bending mechanism, but E6000 is very flexible, so I'm hoping if I just keep doing this, it will create, like, a pocket. Uh, and not break away. The suspense is going in. So the head frame piece kept moving around, so I've just um sticky taped it. <laughs> can't really see. Yeah, you can kind of see. I've sticky taped it like as a like I guess a splint. Hopefully, hopefully that will hold and it will just glue back into place and they'll be fine. But um yeah, I'm gonna leave a sticky note on my mirror to say do not use headphones. And to use these headphones. Um, I'm surprised that my Beats did that, but at the same time, I'm kind of not. No, the glue leaked. No. Oh no. Okay, we're having an emergency. Today's not going to plan. One it's a new dawn, new day. I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and ding that bell so you get notified about my next daily vlog. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Adios.